Hey, welcome to autopostingtools.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can use the um, Facebook Marketplace poster so you can promote uh, products on Facebook Marketplace. So if you go to autopostingtools.com and get the software, basically you will get something like this once you log in and it has different modules. Uh, one of the modules that it has is the Facebook Marketplace. The Facebook Marketplace poster is what we're going to be using today. And basically, uh, you click on that, you will put your email and your password and click login. This is going to log you to Facebook. I already logged in before, so I don't have to do that anymore. But if you didn't do it, uh, just basically log in there or click here and then log in from this web browser. Uh, now, when you click on sell something, this is the Facebook Marketplace. You can put your product, your price uh, and all the information and then it's going to start posting for you. But we want to do this automatically, so we're going to be using this section. So in this section, basically it asks you the same information as the previous one, but here what you can do is you can use a spin text. So you click on Mega Spinner, and you can just put iPhone, and then you put 8, nice iPhone 8, amazing iPhone 8, or you could put um, beautiful iPhone 8 or 9 or whatever version you want to sell. So you put generate, you copy that, and that is going to be your title. So every time this ad gets posted, it's going to change and then you will be able to put the same product with different uh, content. Then you put the price, so you put it on 857, you select your location. If your location is not here, come back here, click on sell something, Type the location that you want to put, like for example, Boston. So Chinatown, Boston, you copy that. And then you come back here, this card. So you come back here and you paste it there. It has to match whatever Facebook has. It has to match, so it does it, it does select that information. Then it asks you for the category. We go to mobile phones. And here you can put uh, the description. In the description, you can also use Mega Spinner. Amazing beautiful iPhone 8 uh, then another uh, section would be uh, iPhone 8 brand new I am selling my iPhone uh, I will sell my iPhone 8 today Basically, it's just the same thing, but written in a different way. So whenever you have that, uh, you could just paste it a few times or like uh, do different uh, sentences there. And whenever you're posting it, it's going to give you different um, different uh, ad every single time. That's the reason we do this. Now, here in the image URL, you put an image URL for your, uh, for your iPhone. In this case, you can type here in the search image for iPhone. And you click on search. That's going to go to, the, to this part here. And you select uh, one of the ones that they have there, like one of good quality or whatever. And then you copy the image URL. This is not good so, because it has to have the extension of the JPEG. So I'll look for a different one. View image, so this one has JPEG or PNG, whichever you want. You come back, you paste it there. Now, we add this to the list, so we have it here. So whenever you select this, it's going to show you the information here. So if you were to have multiple ads, it will show you right there. And here what you can do is you can just um, modify this. Um, like this one, we use... Um, Mo, mo, uh, delete this one, the one on top, or we put it, delete that, and then we put Mega Spinner. And then you can do iPhone 9, I've amazing iPhone 9, beautiful iPhone 9. Or you do more variations of that. So you paste it there, you change the price a little bit. Um, and then you change your description, so you might erase this and just keep the one on top. And we add it to the list. So basically the idea is that you will have a bunch of different, uh, different uh, products with the same title and the same descriptions 
or like even it could be even different and the program is going to go and post this for you automatically now you could do it two ways first you select this and you click send and this is going to post only this specific ad or you could put the timer here and you can put zero two and then you can click post all the ads so most of the time i select this one because it will post me everything so i just will show you how that will work so you click post all the ads and that is going to go and start posting all the ads for me so now it's going to go to facebook marketplace it's going to click on sell something it's going to fill out the title for for me whenever it um, it click there it's going to fill out the title it's going to fill out the um, the the price is going to put the the location is going to select my category and then it's going to uh, type in my description it's going to be a spin it so every time you put it in it's going to be a spin it and then it's going to upload my photo or my picture that i chose so it opens up it's going to put the picture there it's going to click open and then it's going to load it so now my picture is going to show up there on the Facebook Marketplace. And then it's going to click Post. And now my ad has been live on Boston Chinatown. So this is um, the iPhone 8 ad that I just created. Now it's going to go uh, like I put every two minutes so whenever the 79 reaches the 120 it's going to go and do the second ad and then it's going to do the third ad and it's going to repeat until it finished posting all my ads that I created on this list now you could post different products on different categories and on different sections which will basically uh, support every, every all, all those kind of things and you can post as many ads as you want it's just a matter of putting something that it's on the kind of the same price range of everybody else so uh, facebook doesn't um, like uh, find out that you are posting something too expensive and then they wouldn't let you post it and so now it's going to do another one it goes to facebook marketplace also keep in mind that you should put your your cursor like outside of the mark uh, of the of the section where it's posting because sometimes it interferes with the with the posting process because it's just in the copy and paste section so you should be careful with that so it select the category it's going to type in the description and it's going to upload the picture which we had the same picture so you, like if you put different pictures it's going to be good for you because the ad every time is going to be different so it's going to put the picture there it's going to download it and then it's going to post it for you so the ad is going to get posted and you will have a new a new posting And, but this one it's because it was the same description obviously but uh, and because they, the iPhone thing doesn't match with the other one but uh, obviously if you if you were to and also because we upload the same picture so if you were to to have those things change you wouldn't get this prob this problem and you will be able to post as many ads as you want now um, this is basically how it works um, so if you wanna uh, if you wanna uh, uh, like not get this kind of messages just change your ads a little bit more and don't put the same kind of description that i put and you should be good okay so thank you for watching and have a nice day bye for now